Sometimes we take some things for granted and there seems to be little things that matters. In this video, we are going to be looking at how we can add shines to metals. Talking about metals, we're referring to neck chains, hand chains, wristwatches, earrings, and all that. This is Twisted Creative, but like my my name. If your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's jump into it. So this is a beautiful model we are going to be using. And um, if you take a look at her ears, her neck, see the neck lace or neck chain, then you see the earrings. So we are going to make these earrings and necklace more brilliant in this retouching. So what we have to do, we have to start by duplicating this image. We use Ctrl J to duplicate it so that we have something to to fall back to as in when trying to see the before and after so we have the image here then all we have to do just for us to go to the filter and convert to smart filter so it's going to tell you what um, smart filter is all about just hit ok then we just go to filter then order then high pass i think this four should be enough or let's say three in short, let's just make it four. Hit OK. Then go to blend mode. For you, for you to get the blend mode here, you cannot get the blend mode here. Just get to double click this uh, slider icon at the right side of the screen here. Double click it and you'll get the blending option of high pass. Then just click normal as in look for the blend mode and choose linear light. So as you can see, the entire image is sharpened, but that is not what we actually want here, but we are just targeting the necklace and the earrings. So what we have to do now is for us to select the layer mask and use Ctrl I to invert the layer mask. The image goes back to normal. Then you pick your brush to make sure your foreground is white and your background is black. Then you start painting on those areas you want to enhance. So we are going to be enhancing the neck chain or necklace depending on your terminology so let's go to the earring going to be fast in this so make sure your opacity and flow is at 100 opacity and flow so as to get it done fast. You don't need to click like five or 10 times before it's going to reveal it. Just click just once. It's going to open it up. So let's go. So as you can see, the thing is amazing. It's becoming amazing. So let's go. Instead of going it around several times, you can see increase your brush size and click just like once or twice. Reduce the size and click, 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 click. Reduce, click, click. I think it's faster this way. So reduce your brush size to enter. Then we have it this way we are almost done with it so let's go to the tiny side of the chain then reduce our brush size and start painting also mind you don't paint the skin if you paint the skin look at how it's gonna look so we don't want that so let's go you can also do something like if you see gold here you can also do something like that but it's not only gold you can see be applied to silver 
or any other metals. So let's go. I think we are done here. Then let's just see. Let's see the before and after first. This is before. This is after. <laughs> wow. Isn't it amazing already? Okay, let's go for the next adjustment layer. You have to hit the adjustment layer and then choose curves. And in here, this place, we are going to go to blend mode and choose screen. Instead of brightening it manually, you can make mistakes. So let's just use this. Okay, let's go. Then the next thing you do is just double click or you can right click and choose blending mode option like this then you'll find out this layer style boss will come up and you this underlying layer here you just have to move it forward and you can see the dark is being separated from the bright areas so if you leave it like this i think it's okay like this for now then we can split this angle apart to blend it more can see go further and blend it as you can see it's becoming so interesting let's just hit okay first we can see come back here later but just hit okay now you can use your control i to invert your layer mask then zoom in and do the same thing you can increase the size of your brush make sure your foreground color is white and background color is black and start applying Not to worry, you may not see the effects quick or as soon as like the other one. Let's just go around all of them like this. Let's go through them. You can see increase your brush size and do like once or twice. I have to be fast in this. Reduce your brush size for this little one. Then here, yeah, I think it's almost done or done. Not done here before. Let's do this and this. Then the chain, little chain, tiny chain. Reduce your brush size and go through it also. So, this is what we have now. But is it that there is no effect at all? Let's just see. This is before. And this is after. As in talking about the last adjustment layer, this is before. And this is now. So, let's zoom in and see check again. This is before. And this is after. So, we are seeing something. Isn't it? Okay, let's make it obvious. Let's double click this place again to bring out layer style. Then we can see make adjustments. Let's just put it together like lock it together like as it was initially. So as you can see, we are having it increased. Then the more we take it to the, the right side, you notice it has more details, but the left side is a kind of being too exposed or bringing it back to its normal state and when it's bright. So we have to reduce the brightness for the bright areas and make sure the dark areas are dark to make that separation and create high contrast. So if you look, take a look at this now. Then let's split it. Hold your, con your alt down. Hold your alt down and split this angle apart and take move this other one forward a little to blend it more to look more realistic then i think we can just okay here and close this box up then let's see before and after 
I mean for the second adjustment layer for the layer style of boss. So we have to see the before and after. This is this is after. This is before. This is after. It's just like a little difference. But okay, let's just create a group for both of these these layers. Select both of them. You hold your control. Select both of them and use Control G to place them in a group. So you if you open here, you see them inside. Then if you close it, they are still inside. Then if you off both of them, you see the the real before. The real before, talking about before starting this effect. Then this is after. This is before. This is after. This is before. And this is after. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> sure it is. Yes, that's a very easy way you can add shine to your metals in Adobe Photoshop. If you find it interesting, helpful and useful, let us know in the comment section telling us where it has helped you and where we need to improve on. Like I said earlier, if you are new on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video. Creative people, keep on creating. Please stay creative. For now, bye. See you in the next video.